Hi there, my name is James and welcome to another episode of Edgy Edge Functions. I'm going to be your guest host and I'm the co-founder of Unkey. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can secure super base functions and make it as easy as possible. The first thing we should do is cover what Unkey is and then let's dive into some code. So Unkey is authentication made easy. We handle everything from global distribution, caching keys, rate limiting, usage base, expiry dates, analytics, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So when we're going to get started with this project, the first thing you need to do is sign up for a free Unkey account. Once you've signed up for an Unkey account, we're going to start setting up our Superbase functions. So let's head over to a terminal and start there. So I've created a folder here called edgy with unkey. And the first thing we need to do is init our Superbase. So you can just do Superbase init and that will init our Superbase. And then the next thing we need to do is do Superbase start. Once that's all started up, we can then create our first function. And that function essentially is just going to be a hello world. I'm gonna show you how you can secure it by using our verify key method. Now. The first thing you want to do is figure out the best way to issue an API key, but we will do this through the UI and I'll show you how that works. So now that we have Superbase started, the next thing we need to do is create a function. So with that, we'll do a Superbase functions new hello world, and that will give us our first function. Now, if we open this in Visual Studio Code, and as you can see, this is our function here. It just serves a name that you pass in, and here's an example of how to curl it. Now, if you haven't used Superbase functions before, you do need to serve the functions up. This will allow us to actually make a call to the function as we need. And essentially all you do is call this plus the function name. So if we get a new tab here and we essentially copy this and put hello dash world, we should get the result of functions here. So I have this already copied across. Here it is. And you can see the message comes back as hello world because that's what we passed in. Now this is great, that's how our function works, but we want to actually secure this function and stop it from being used without a user having an API key. So we need to improve this by using Unkey. Now Unkey is, has an SDK that you can use and that SDK has a function called verify key. Now I'm gonna paste in the import here, verify key, and this is coming from esm.sh at api slash unkey. Now, if you're not using Superbase functions, you would be able to install this using npm, but because they're using Dino, that means that you need to use an import like this. So now we have verify key, we can use this to essentially say, hey, if this user doesn't have a key or their key is not valid, we can reject them and send them something else. So now it's time to update this function. So what we're going to do is actually strip out everything that's in this request so we can delete everything in here and we'll make new returns here based upon what we have. So the first thing we're actually going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for a specific header that tells us that, hey, this has an API key attached to it. So we can do here is const API key is equal to request.headers.get. And then in here is where we're going to put our API key header that we're looking for. Because we want to keep this simple, we'll just call it X Unkey API key. And then we can return a response if there isn't one. So we can do if no API key return new response unauthorized comma status 401. Now we have this check to make sure we have an API key. We now need to use this verify key to essentially look to see if there's an error if the result is valid and then return some results. So you can destructure this and have result and, and error and just do it await verify key and then pass in this API key. And what we'll do here is we'll return either the result or an error message. So if there is an error, so if we say if error, this means there was an error with our API. So we can just return a response here and we'll just do error on the server for now and we'll set this to 500 because maybe we don't actually know what the error is then we can actually check to see if the result dot valid and if the result is not valid that means that they are unauthorized to access something so at this point you can handle this however you want but for edgy edge functions we'll just put in that they're unauthorized and then finally we know that the result is valid at this point so we can just do a return new response here and we'll do uh, json.stringify and we'll pass in the result and we'll set the stats to 200. 
and we'll hit save. So at this point, this is ready to test and you're now securing all of your APIs. Essentially what we're doing here is checking to see if they have an API key. If they don't, clearly they shouldn't be here. Then we're going to check to see if there's an error message. If there is an error that's returned from our verified key, we assume something went wrong in the server. Then if the result is not valid, that means that API key is currently either revoked, they are in a state of rate limited, or they don't have any remaining uses. And finally, if not, we can return a result. So let's go and actually create an API key in Unkey, and then we can test our function out. So here I am in Unkey. I'm just gonna click on my demo here, and we're gonna click Create Key in the top right hand corner. Now from here, you can create anything you want using either prefixes, bytes, you could put an owner associated with it, the name to make it easy to identify. And of course you can add rate limiting, limited usage, expiration or custom metadata. So here we're actually gonna add a limit here. So we'll just say they can do two requests and the refill rate is one every million milliseconds. And we'll click create here. And now this key will never be shown again. So make sure when you do use Unkey that you pass these keys on. Of course you can do this through our API, but for demo purposes, it's much easier here. So if I click copy here and we go back to our Visual Studio code, and we just paste this here. We now have the ability to make this request. So I'm gonna copy this, and all we're going to do is pass in a new header here with the X Unkey API key, and then test the function. So here's the same function, and I've just added this header right here, X Unkey API key, and added our API key. Now if I hit enter here, we should get a result back from the server, and as you can see here, valid, true, rate limit, two remaining one and it resets at this. So if we hit this again and you can see after I hit it again and then one more time, we're now getting unauthorized from our requests because this key is now being rate limited. Now, if we go back to our Unkey dashboard here and we also look at the details of this key, we can see that there was some total uses where I've been playing around. And then we also have a rate limited version and you can see where they came from what the user agent was called, what time they made these requests, and the IP address if you needed. So I hope you enjoyed this securing your APIs with Unkey. Thank you so much for Soupbase for allowing me to host this edgy edge function, and we'll see you soon.